you guys and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I have to do somewhat of a pretty deep clean of my kitchen and my bathroom. It is 12.30 a.m. on what's the day? March 13th. Um, so long story short, pest control is coming to my apartment building. I have zero say in this. I do not have any pests in my apartment. But clearly somebody in this building does, so pest control is coming on Monday. It is 12.30 a.m. on Friday. So I have, I'm just gonna go home because while they're in my apartment, I have to be out and two hours after they leave, I have to be out. So I'm just gonna go to my parents' house for the weekend and so I have to do the deep cleaning now. So. I have no idea what I'm doing. I am not Cinderella. I don't know how to deep clean. Like I deep clean all the time, but like they have requirements and they get charged if it's done wrong. So let's just go right into this video. Okay, bathroom. Okay, we'll start with the kitchen. Um, kitchen, pull everything away from the baseboards, including fridge and stove. So I have to like pull my fridge and stove away from the wall. Clear off all counters and any dishes from the sink. So we'll have to unload the dishwasher and put the dirty dishes in the dishwasher, which I should do anyway, but clear everything from below the kitchen sink and all bottom cupboards. All exposed foods need to be stored away or covered to prevent exposure to dust, chemical dust, wipe down baseboards, counter, sweep and mop on the floor. That's another thing. I don't own a mop so I'm gonna have to be literally Cinderella and get down on my hands and knees and scrub my floor with my dish rag or something like oh gosh you guys I have no idea what I'm doing but I think we're gonna start with clearing the counters unloading the dishwasher is where we'll start Okay, right, guys, so this is what it looks like now. Literally everything is empty. It looks so strange, like I'm moving out in two months. So I'm gonna have to do this all again. So now I just need to move the table out of here and then I can clean the floors and then pull the stove and the fridge out and then I think I'm done. Think. Okay, this part might be a little interesting. fridge is officially in the middle of my kitchen now. Okay, that's really gross. I hope that's out far enough, but that's as good as it's gonna get. Now, time to move the stove. 
don't think this is the one that's gonna be that difficult, but. So it didn't specify how far the appliances had to be pulled out, but this is the current state of my kitchen. Okay, so I'm just going to sweep and then I really don't want to get on my hands and knees and like clean the baseboards or whatever they're called, but that's what it says to do because I don't want to mop. Pull everything away from baseboards, including fridge and stove. Check. Clear all the counters of any dishes from the sink. Check. Clear everything from below the kitchen sink and all bottom cupboards. Check. Um, all exposed food needs to be stored away or covered. Covered to prevent exposure from chemical dust. Check. Wipe down baseboards, counter, sweep, and mop floor. So I can wipe down the counters and then just. I wiped, I already wiped down the counters, but I can wipe down the baseboards and sweep the floor and call it a day. So that is what I'm going to do. Okay, tell me why I genuinely feel like Cinderella right now. do the same thing to the bathroom there's nothing to move in the bathroom so I think it's gonna be easier it's also smaller space I literally feel so much like Cinderella right now Okay, you guys, let's go back to that checklist. One last check. Bathroom, pull everything away from baseboards, check. Remove any bath mats that may be on the floor, check. Clear everything from the top of the counter as well as everything from under the sink, check. Wipe down baseboards, check. Counters, check. Sweep and mop floor. I did not mop, but I swept. Kitchen, pull everything away from baseboards, including fridge and stove, check. Clear off all counters and any dishes from under the sink, check. Clear everything from below the kitchen sink and all bottom cupboards. All exposed foods need to be stored away or covered to prevent exposure to toxic to chemical dust. English. <laughs> Wipe down baseboards, counters, sweep, and mop before. Check, 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 check. Okay. Let me show you the state of my apartment right now. Alright, so this is the kitchen. I'm so not sure if I should remove those pictures, um, but I am going to remove my friend's graph picture and this magnet. But yeah, this is the state of the kitchen. Fridge is in the middle and it looks so empty. So empty and so out of place. And then this is what my living room currently looks like. Peep the kitchen table in the middle all of the kitchen shit all over the couch my microwave on my chair like just look at oh, you guys this is such an annoyance and then we'll go into the bedroom and i just put all the bathroom stuff here on this side this really irks my ocd like I hate clutter. I hate, oh, this is just, especially this desk. This desk really bugs me right now. And then the bathroom really looks no different. It just looks pretty empty and bare. Okay, you guys, so let's go on a little bit of a rant now. I was told to, I should actually bring the paper in here. I got a three page paper slipped under my door one day um, our three page letter from my apartment complex so if you guys don't know I rent from an apartment can I speak proper English? never I rent from an apartment complex so they do all my maintenance they do everything 
If I have a problem, I go down to the leasing office, whatever, whatever. Standard lease. They inform me that pest control is coming to our apartment complex and they're putting chemicals in our apartments. I don't know what, I don't know anything about it, but they're like pest control is coming and we have to be out of our apartment from 8 in the morning to 3 p.m. on Monday. It is Friday, so I'm just going to go home to my parents' house for the weekend. I'm done midterms, so it's like the perfect timing. However, they made me do that deep clean. The deep clean you just watched, they told me that if I didn't do it, it said in the letter that they sent, if I didn't do it, they would charge us $125 for being for not being prepared for this and I'm like I don't have pests number one somebody else in this complex must or just a precautionary whatever it is I don't have pests number two I pay rent here if you want something done that I don't do do it yourself like I pay my rent I keep my apartment nice and tidy if you want my fridge pulled out, pull it out yourself. If you want my stove pulled out, pull it out yourself. Like, I know I'm just complaining, but like, I don't know. It's just so, oh, and then number three that I'm annoyed about, I could go on and on and on, but the chemical is staying in the apartment. So there's going to be like a powdery substance left in places in my apartment for two weeks. Two weeks I have to live with chemical in my air I literally went I went down to the leasing office today and I was like so is this chemical toxic because I'm not comfortable coming back to my apartment where I could possibly get even more ill like I'm a very ill person to begin with I'm always sick with something and she's like well no it's not a toxic chemical it dies down after the two hours I'm like but there's still gonna be open chemical in my apartment for two weeks yeah but she says I can move everything back but if I have to move everything back out in two weeks the next time pest control comes I will be very angry and upset because that's not my responsibility also I think I have to clean the chemical up I don't know I don't know what the heck is happening but thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed my little rant I know it's the first world problems and it's really not that big of a deal but it's an annoyance. It's a great annoyance, especially because I'm in midterms right now. Like I said, I just finished. So thankfully, it's like not during finals because then that would be even worse. But like I wrote my last midterm today and I cleaned my kitchen when I got home. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So subscribe so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.